back uh, in 2009, uh, we started with my uh, exceptional colleague from neurophthalmology, Mark Dinkin at Cornell. We started the, the first clinical trial uh, of uh, venous stenting uh, in the United States. And this was focused on patients with severe papilledema and severe vision loss that have failed um, medical management or prior surgery with shunt or optic nerve sheet fenestration, or if they presented with fulminant presentation. And what they've shown is that there was a significant improvement in the degree of uh, papilledema and the degree of visual field loss. Um, this is, these are the results from that initial study in 48 eyes, 24 patients, 48 eyes with papilledema and significant vision loss. And we have shown that in every patient there was at least one eye that improved significantly. On average, there was a major improvement, minus 10 uh, deviation to minus uh, 4.7, closer to zero for, for any patients who are listening, closer to zero is normal. So minus 10, minus 10 is very bad and minus five is significant improvement. Um, and there were some patients that did not show improvement in one eye. This was atrophic already from severe papilledema for years due to uh, unsuccessful earlier treatment, but at least one eye in every patient had significant recovery. And in the, major in the vast majority of, of eyes, the papilledema either improved significantly or resolved. The blue line is the papilledema before treatment. Uh, and the uh, orange line is the papilledema after treatment. And you see the, the average pre-stenting was 2.4 and the average post-stenting was 0 0.5, which is a major uh, improvement by any means of neuro criteria and, and, and uh, standards.